Over the years, I've driven everything from world rally cars to London buses, but when it comes to choosing a car for my own personal use, I am incredibly fussy. Just like everyone else, I've got a lifestyle and a budget that I have to stick to. So when Ford asked me to tell them what I thought of the Ford Focus C-Max, I decided the best way to do that was to spend a day with one. So tomorrow, we're gonna find out how it performs. First test for the C-Max is getting the children to school. Some mornings it can be like herding cats, so it's important that when they are eventually ready, the car is too. I wonder what they'll make of it. You can see it. Oh, that's really clever. Where, where is it? It's very good visibility. All these extra windows are really good. Very nice to drive. The really light steering wheel. Uh, steering, <laughs> steering wheel. Steering wheel. Very good. My favourite thing is when you put the middle seat down, it's a table. There's a bit for a drink, and then there's a flat bit so you can play some like cards or something on that. I really um, like it because you're at Pines, which is really good. When it comes to reading brochures and manuals, I am absolutely rubbish, but I've promised I will get to grips with the C-Max brochure, and I noticed straight away that in terms of safety, the car's brilliant. It's got four-star Euro NCAP rating for child protection, which has got to be good stuff. It's also got an allergy-free environment. Now, Ford have discovered that up to one in four children are allergic to the materials used inside a car, which I never knew, but the C-Max is almost allergy-free, which is, again, got to be good stuff. There's loads of things you can spec out with. It can be key-free, it can have sat-nav, it can have Bluetooth. I particularly like sat-nav, actually, because it's touchscreen, and I think that's really cool. Hello. Hello. How are you? Are the girls all right? Yes, very good. The car is so nice, very nice. You like it? Yeah, we all enjoyed. The girls like it too? Yes. Mm, they play with their all the stuff and ask lots of questions. Mm. Really like that. Good, good, good. Well, I've got the keys now. And at last, it's my turn to drive it. First driving impressions are actually very good. It's really nice to drive. The steering is nicely weighted. It's just right. Visibility is excellent. And all the controls and dials are very, very easy to use. I've always been a big fan of estate cars because they suit my lifestyle so well. And if I'm perfectly honest, I've never even considered a multi-activity vehicle like this C-Max. But now I'm in it, I'm rather enjoying it, and I love this tall roof. It means the glass is bigger, and that makes it really light and bright in here. Driving position is excellent because you're a little bit high, you have this wonderful command of the road, and the seats are really comfortable. Right, I'm here at the garden centre. I've just got to quickly pick up some plants and take them back to the house. Ah, Christine. You've got them all ready for me, thank you yes. very much. Okay. Now, this isn't the heaviest load in the world, but it is going to need a lot of floor space. The C-Max has got quite a low sill, which means loading bulky stuff like this is really easy. Now, apparently, the boot of the C-Max is nearly 200 litres bigger than the Golf Plus, and that's got to be worth mentioning to potential buyers. Well, that was easy, it all fitted in. Doesn't look like I'm going to get much conversation out of my new friend, though, does it? Ford claim I should be able to get 52.3 miles per gallon out of this TDCI, which is a huge improvement on the measly 21 miles a gallon I get out of my Subaru Legacy estate. I'm also really impressed with the performance, to be honest. This is the 1.8 litre TDCI, and it's got 115 horsepower, which doesn't sound very much, but it's really talky, it pulls brilliantly. Now the gearbox is very nice and easy to use, gears are easy to find and it's mounted a little bit higher up the dashboard so just the right position to rest your hand on it.
Penny, you're back. I am. <clears throat> I need a favour. I need to get to Oxford. Could I borrow a car, please? Yes, you can take the C-Max. Perfect. It's got a full tank of diesel, but I'll do a deal with you. The boot is full of plants. If you can unload them for me, yeah. take the car and enjoy it and tell me what you think of it. But if you're leaving now, is there any chance you could pick the girls up from school on your way back? Of course. Perfect. Thank you. Do you know where you're going? Sort of. Okay, it's got touchscreen satellite navigation. Brilliant. Yes. Just tap it in and it'll take you there. Brilliant. I'll be back Good. really soon. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Bye. One of the reasons that Ford was so keen for me to take a look at the C-Max is that they've just realigned all their prices, which means that the new 1.6 style model starts at just £13,495, and it comes with a stack of standard equipment. The 1.6 petrol engine produces 100 PS, and over and above the LX version, it comes with comfort rear seat system, rear sun blinds, privacy glass, child observation mirror, chrome grille surround, sunglasses holder, leather steering wheel, and a trip computer. Okay, yeah, no first day's absolutely lovely. I look forward to it. Many thanks, bye-bye. Girls back already. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, how was school? Hi, Hi darling. Oh, good to see you. How was school, George? Good girl. Oh, a bit boring. So what did you think of the car? Loved it. Sat nav was great. Got got directly there. Loved Perfect. the stereo. So Charlie, what did you like about the C Max? I liked it because it was up high and I feel safe. Yeah, and it's important to feel safe, isn't it? Georgie, what did you like? I liked it because it was high so you could see out the yeah. window. And that always helps you to feel less car sick, which has got to be good. So do we like the C Max? Do we want yeah. a C Max? Yeah. 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 Yay! Well, that was a day in the life of the Mallory household, and I have to say the Focus C-Max has been a bit of a hit. We've chucked everything at it, and it's still come up trumps. If I'm perfectly honest, the C-Max has never been on my wish list of cars, as I'm sure it hasn't been for a lot of people. But having lived with it for 24 hours, I have completely changed my mind. The C-Max has plenty of space. It really does drive very well, and it has a reasonable price tag. But perhaps the most important important thing of all is that it fits in with my lifestyle and my family so well and that has to be the most important thing when you're considering buying any new car. <laughs>